Wu Jun had a conversation with Liang Yuren. He took out a photo of the three of them from their school days to reminisce about the past. There were many girls who pursued Qian Hung back then, but the only one who could discuss cases with him was Liang Yuren. Their joint efforts at that time made Liang Yuren feel even more lost about the past. Wu Jun told Liang Yuren that a good relationship can sometimes help a person grow, but a bad one will only hold them back. Liang Yuren understood that her persistent secret crush was a mistake. Wu Jun was unsure about his decision to let go of Liang Yuren, so he asked Chen Shi whether what he did was right or wrong. Chen Shi firmly supported his decision, saying that it's easy to destroy a person, but saving someone is quite difficult. In Qian Hung's eyes, there is only winning and losing, but in Wu Jun's eyes, there are many beautiful things beyond just winning and losing. Wu Jun responded, Aren't you praising me for being better than Qian Hung? I'm so happy. Tan Ying called Chen Yao to inform her about the company's decision to dismiss Liang Yuren, mentioning that Liang Yuren's reputation in the industry had already been tarnished. Liang Yuren then called Chen Yao to arrange a meeting, during which she explained that she had finally realized the difference between herself and Chen Yao. She acknowledged that Chen Yao is positive, optimistic, diligent, and possesses both virtue and talent. Liang Yuren admitted that due to her own actions, she could no longer stay in the industry and was planning to go abroad for further studies. Chen Yao responded that she had noticed Liang Yuren's hostility from the beginning but didn't want to be criticized or embarrass Liang Yuren as a partner, so she joined Liang Yuren's team despite the pressure. Finally, Liang Yuren apologized, and Chen Yao smiled faintly, saying that it was all in the past. Previously, when Chen Yao had tendered her resignation, Qian Hung inadvertently remarked that she had nowhere to go if she left Junhan, which made Chen Yao feel upset. To apologize, he clumsily made a custom wooden plaque for her and even accidentally injured his hand in the process. Seeing Qian Hung's sincere attitude, Chen Yao was no longer angry and mentioned that she had passed the interview at Jinchinj Law Firm and received an offer. Qian Hung responded, Jinchinj Law Firm is terrible. They only handle cases that Junhan doesn't want. What good can come from you going there? Chen Yao replied, that's exactly where I want to challenge myself and, through my efforts, become an equally excellent lawyer as you. You have to support me. Qian Hung, unable to insist further, reluctantly said, but Jinchinj's coffee machine is really bad. The next day, Chen Yao reported to Jinchinj law firm. Li Chengxian organized a welcome party, and Gu Biking prepared a bouquet of baby's breath for Chen Yao. Li Chengxian posted a photo of the three of them on his social media. During lunch, several new colleagues started asking about Qian Hung's reputation as the industry's scourge. Chen Yao explained that Qian Hung was simply very demanding of his employees, which is why she had progressed so quickly under his guidance. Li Chengxian said, Then I have to thank Qian Hung. Cheers. Suddenly, Qian Hung appeared behind them, causing everyone to look at each other in surprise. Li Chengxian, originally with good intentions, had hoped to set up Gu Biking and Chen Yao. But when Qian Hung announced that he was Chen Yao's boyfriend, Li Chengxian quickly stopped and invited Qian Hung to join them for lunch. At the lunch table, Qian Hung targeted Gu Biking, mentioning his three consecutive losses. Gu Biking responded that he had been unlucky, facing Jun Han's lawyers three times in a row. Qian Hung retorted, then you'll be encountering Junhan lawyers many more times in the future. How will you handle that? Li Chengxian quickly intervened, saying, Lawyer Qian, it's lunchtime. Can we not talk about work? Chen Yao then pulled Qian Hung out of the restaurant and asked, Didn't we agree last night that you wouldn't interfere with my new job? I just started today, and you're already causing trouble. What are you trying to do? Qian Hung replied, Gu Biking gave you a bouquet of baby's breath. Do you know what baby's breath symbolizes? It's pure love, used for confessions. Chen Yao responded, you're overthinking it. Baby's breath is just one of the most common flowers in the florist's shop. When Chen Yao returned to the office, she noticed her colleagues were cautiously avoiding her. She addressed them, saying that while she is indeed Qian Hung's girlfriend, it wouldn't affect her work and she hoped they would treat her like any other colleague. The colleagues felt awkward about having complained about Qian Hung, but she reassured them, 
saying she had complained about Qian Hung even more fiercely when she first joined Junhan. Gu Biking was particularly hesitant to face Chen Yao, saying he constantly felt like Qian Hung was written above her head, as Qian Hung had caused him to lose many cases, making him feel cursed. Chen Yao told him, Senior, don't be too anxious. If we work hard together, we can definitely beat Qian Hung. When Chen Yao returned to her apartment, she found that Qian Hung was already quite jealous. He inquired about her collaboration with Gu Biking. Chen Yao explained that they had already teamed up and started handling high-end cases. Noticing Qian Hung's concerned expression, Chen Yao deliberately teased him to make him even more upset. Gu Biking had a daily ritual of praying to a talisman he bought from a temple, hoping not to encounter Qian Hung at work. On this particular day, just as he finished his prayer, Qian Hung appeared, startling him so much that he dropped the talisman. Qian Hung remarked, a normal person takes two seconds to pass through this door, but you took a full minute, which is thirty times longer. Gu Biking, I could easily sue you for occupying public resources. You're also blindly following a religion, which damages the image of a lawyer. Chen Yao then arrived and said, Article 36 of the Constitution states that citizens have freedom of belief. As a lawyer and a citizen, senior has this right. Qian Hung had no choice but to leave. Qian Hung arrived at the office in a very angry mood, but his mood changed when he received a WeChat message from Chen Yao. She requested him not to trouble her colleagues during work hours and reminded him that she was his exclusive partner at home in the evening. She also mentioned that the coffee was specially bought for him and was his favorite flavor. Instantly, Qian Hung felt delighted. Chen Yao and Gu Biking worked together on cases, and under Chen Yao's guidance, Gu Biking made rapid progress, gradually overcoming his fear of Qian Hung. Together, they became the two main pillars of Jinchinj Law Firm, breaking revenue records within just one month of joining. Li Chengxian decided to hold a celebration banquet during lunchtime to commemorate their achievements. To promote the event, he paired Chen Yao and Gu Biking as a couple. Tan Ying secretly informed Qian Hung about this. Li Chengxian arranged for Chen Yao and Gu Biking to be photographed for the cover of the next issue of the Lawyer Weekly. During the lunch banquet, Chen Yao expressed that taking on cases seriously was the main priority and that they shouldn't waste energy on promoting a couple image as it might give Qian Hung more to ponder. Li Chengxian agreed with Chen Yao's perspective and changed his mind. Qian Hung overheard this conversation from the next room and was very satisfied with Chen Yao's decision. He instructed Bao Rui to buy bubble tea for all the colleagues, with him footing the bill. Qian Hung's mother arrived at Jinchinj Law Firm and exaggeratedly told the receptionist, Call out your boss, I want to buy your law firm. Chen Yao quickly stepped forward and said, Auntie, why are you here? Qian Hung's mother replied, Oh, Yao Yao, why are you changing jobs? Is Qian Hung treating you badly? Is he bullying you? Chen Yao responded, No, no. Qian Hung's mother then asked, Then what's going on? Chen Yao explained, Auntie, distance creates beauty. Qian Hung's mother said, I understand that, it's romantic and adds a bit of fun.